Hi, my name is Shamire and I hear you're going home. How exciting. I have a friend that I would like for you to meet. Has anyone seen Foley? Oh, there you are. Foley, come meet your new friend. Say hi. Foley is so happy to have a new friend. Foley will be going home with you. Both of you will hang out together for a little while. Foley can make it easier for you to pee. Foley needs your help to stay squeaky clean. Soap and water are its best friends. It is important for you to have clean hands before you pee or touch the pee bag so there is no germs on Foley. Germs are not friends and can make Foley and you sick. Remember, always wash your hands after you pee. That way Foley is always nice and clean. Please do not pull or twist Foley, which can hurt and make it say ouch. Foley loves to drink water with its new friends. If you don't drink a lot, Foley can't wiggle and have fun with you. So drink a lot of water. Foley doesn't like to be too high. It likes to be nice and straight on your legs. That way it can walk with you wherever you go. It is so much fun to walk. You can do everything with Foley. Just make sure it hugs your leg so it doesn't fall. Foley loves playing all types of games and activities except swimming. Oops, Foley can't swim. It loves taking showers after playing, but it can't take a bath. Foley is leaving now and wants to say goodbye to you. Say goodbye, Foley. I want to remind you how important it is to take good care of Foley so it stays nice and clean. And now I would like to give some information to the grown-up that is taking you home. See ya! You play an important role in your child's recovery. We would like to give you some information to help you care for your child's catheter and prevent complications such as a urinary tract infection, UTI. A urinary tract infection occurs when any part of the urinary system, aka the kidney, bladder, or urethra, become affected by germs. Bacteria from the bowel are the most common germs that can cause a UTI. Other causes include germs from the butt traveling to the urethra, especially for girls, and blockage of urine through the urinary tract. These are some ways to prevent urinary tract infections. Frequent and careful hand washing, taking care fully, drink plenty of water and avoid caffeine to prevent dehydration. Avoid tight pants or undergarments. They allow moisture buildup in the genital area. Use cotton underwear. Change diapers as soon as they are soiled. Keep the skin around the catheter and tubing clean and dry. Wash away any drainage. Gently clean catheter with soap and water twice a day. Clean the buttocks well after every bowel movement. Do not put powder in this area or this area here. Keep the drainage bag below the hips. This prevents urine in the bag from going back into the catheter. Do not tug, pull, or kink the catheter. Secure the catheter to the leg in order to prevent pulling. Your doctor will determine when the catheter will be changed or removed. Gently clean catheter with soap and water twice a day. Make sure you wash your hands first before washing the catheter. Wash away any drainage. Do not tug, pull, 
or kink the catheter. Clean buttocks well with every bowel movement. Do not use any powders around this area. Now, let us review how to empty a Foley. Make sure you wash your hands first. First, empty the drainage bag when it's one third to half full, which is usually two to three times a day. The drainage tap should not touch the container or toilet. Clean the end of the tap with an alcohol pad. Close the tap securely to prevent leaking. The bag should not touch the floor. You should call the doctor if your child reports a burning feeling when urinating, if you see blood in the urine, pain or pressure in the lower back or abdomen, fevers, chills, nausea, or if the child is vomiting. Make sure you consult with your doctor if you see no urine in the bag for two to three hours, an accidental dislodgement, or leakage of the urine around the catheter. Additionally, report if your child is constipated, urinating a cloudy, dark, or bad smelly urine, or feeling tired or shaky. As far as your child's hygiene, he or she cannot take a bath until the catheter is removed, but they can take a shower. Please have your child shower daily to maintain proper hygiene. The child can do any activity that keeps the drainage bag below the bladder. Make sure the catheter is secure so it does not pull when the child walks. Finally, no swimming activities for the child until the Foley is removed. We advise to keep track of the date the catheter was placed and the amount of water intake. After the catheter is removed, tell your doctor if your child has to urinate often or has to hurry to the toilet to avoid accidents. On behalf of all of us at Nicholas Children's Health System, we hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, please ask the nurse that is conducting the discharge process. Thank you for being a partner in your child's recovery.